everybody and welcome to another micro bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we have something very special as you probably can tell because I'm wearing my super fancy suit. It's very comfy. As you know last week I hit 10,000 subscribers so I thought I would do a special video to celebrate that. Now I was wondering what to build because I wanted to build something which encapsulates my channel, the Bowtie Man. But I was wondering I was pondering, I just didn't know what to build. But then finally, inspiration struck. So today we are making a mind blow doll. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> today we are making a bow tie doll. So here is our bow tie doll. But hold on, something doesn't look quite right. Bow ties aren't usually grey. Let's change that. Let's spruce this up a little bit. Ah, oh, that's so much better. <laughs> now I know iron blocks is the usual block of choice for a piston door, but come on, it's a bow tie has to be colourful. <laughs> so just running through this door quickly, as you can tell, firstly it looks like a bow tie, so that's really good. And secondly, this door is super fast as you can see here. So when we flick the lever, it opens really nice and quickly, and then we flick the lever again, as you can see it closes super quick too. Now taking a quick look at the redstone, as you can see it is super, super compact, and just look at that. That is beauty personified. <laughs> I just love the look of this thing. Honestly, this is probably one of my favourite piston doors, not just because it's a bow tie, just, ah, just love it. <laughs> so now you've seen the design, you've seen the redstone, let's get on with this awesome tutorial. So for this amazing build you're going to need 4 regular pistons, 62, yes 62 sticky pistons, 28 observers, 14 repeaters, 20 redstone torches, 2 redstone blocks, 50 redstone dust, 2 powered rails, 2 slabs, 2 pieces of obsidian but they are optional so it's up to you, 1 lever, 72 blocks of redstone to go on, event how many blocks you need for decoration. Okay to start this build what you need to do is have a flooring down which is 12 long, okay so 12 blocks. So our middle of our door is going to start here in the middle of these 12. Okay, so these two middle blocks here. So firstly, we need to come over to this left hand side here and place two blocks down like this, one and two. Then a temporary block here and one up. Remove this one, a temporary block here, one up and one to the side and remove this one like that. And what we need to do is mirror that on this side. So two blocks like this, temporary, one up, remove this one, temporary block here, one up, one to the right, and remove this one, like that. You see it goes up, then down, then up, then down. Then from this block here, we need a temporary block, and then we need a line of six blocks going up. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then a temporary block here, and one to the left. And again, we need, so you need to mirror this up here, but obviously flipped over. So two along, then one down, then one here, one down, and one to the left, and remove this block. And then we can mirror this on this side. So, temporary block here, one up, and this needs to be six high. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Temporary block here, one here, remove this one, two along, one down like that. Temporary block here, one down, one across, remove that block. You can see we have our bow tie beautiful. <laughs> so now we need to place in our pistons. So firstly place a block underneath every one of these blocks here. And these are temporary, you'll be destroying these in just a second. And on the side of these blocks we need sticky pistons facing upward. Like that. Okay and we can remove these blocks. Okay, now we need to now place another temporary block here and here. One here, one here, and one here, and one here. Like that. And on this side of these blocks, we need another sticky pistons. So going like this. Okay, and on these sticky pistons we just placed, we want another one on top. So one here, 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 and here. <laughs> and we can now remove these blocks. So the ones at the front should be all single pistons and the ones at the back should all have be double piston extenders basically 
one piston on top of another. Okay, and now we need to copy this, but over here, and again, mirrored. So, place a line of blocks down like this. Okay, and place sticky pistons going along like this. Okay, and then remove these blocks. And now we need to mirror the double pistons. So, we need to place blocks like this. One here, and one up. One on this side, and one up. And again, double piston extenders facing downward. So here, here, here and here, and keep going along. All right, and we can remove these blocks. And then for the sides, it's really easy. We need to place a block here and four up. One, two, three, four. So make sure it's in the middle. And then have sticky pistons going up like this, so four in total. We can remove these blocks. Two blocks in the middle again, out the back. And guess what? Two double piston extenders facing inward. And remove these, and then we can just do this on the other side. So, four blocks in the middle, one, two, three, four. Four sticky pistons going up, one, two, three, four. <laughs> remove these blocks. Two blocks here, and two double piston extenders. There we are. So this door basically is comprised of piston extenders, and double piston extenders, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we have our pistons in place, now we can actually wire them up. So we're going to start with our pistons down the bottom here. Now this bit is the hardest part of the whole build, so just, just be careful. <laughs> okay, so block here, and one down, and one to the front. Okay, and one next to it. And dust on both. Then we'll grab a lever, and flick it on like this. We should turn on our redstone dust. Then a temporary block here, and one up. A torch here, and block. A torch here, and a block here. Then another temporary block here, and one down. And then a line of blocks like this. One, two, and then one up here. And dust on all three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to mirror this on this side. So, block here, one up. And torch, and a block above the torch. Torch here, and block. Temporary block here, and one down. And a line of blocks like this. Two, then one up. And then three bits of rest and dust like this. One, two, and three. Okay. Then what we need to do is place a torch on this side of this block, like this. Okay. Now underneath this torch, we need a piston facing toward the outside, like that. And then the same on this side. Okay. Then we need to grab an observer and place it like this. So when that piston extends, that observer is going to detect that piston arm. And the same on this side. So an observer here. Then we need to grab another observer and place it this way. And then another one and places it this way. Okay. And then two more observers facing upward toward these two pistons here. One, two. All right. Then a torch here and one here. Next, we need to place a block here and a torch. Then a block on top of that torch, but then a torch on this side and another block on that torch. And we can do the same on this side. So block here, torch, block, torch, block. All right. <laughs> then we need to grab another block and place it here and one here and have a repeater on four ticks going toward the middle. Okay. Then we need a observer, sorry, an observer, like this, and a block here. And then we can copy this on this side. So block, repeater on four tick delay going this way, a block here, an observer, and a block. After that, we need to place an observer on the side of that piston like this. Then two observers facing this way, and a block. And on this observer, we need a repeater on three tick away. Sorry, three tick delay facing away. Then we need a block here joining these two and a repeater facing this way. Then from this repeater going toward this piston here, we need an observer like that. Then we need to place a piston here. And this is where we can place our optional obsidian. So if you want to make the build slightly quieter, you can place an immovable block, but it's completely up to you. You don't need it. Then a torch and a block, 
and the torch. And then lastly, we need an observer coming away from that repeater there, and a block. And we can repeat this on this side. So firstly, we need an observer facing downward on the side of that torch, like that. A repeater on three tick to delay coming away. Two observers, like that. Temporary block here, one out. Have a repeater going this way. An observer coming away from that repeater into this, uh, this piston here. Block here. Whoops. <laughs> piston facing upward. Optional obsidian here. Then torch. Block. Torch. And then that's it. Then, oh, sorry, lastly, an observer here. And block. And then lastly for this stage, all you have to do is place in our blocks like this. So a line of blocks going like this. All along. Then a line of some other blocks like this. This is completely up to you what type of blocks you use. And then just your surrounding blocks like this. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Does our bottom section work? So when we flick the lever, we should have a full extension, which we do. So you can see our, all of our pistons are extending. And then when we flick the lever off, we should have them all retracted. Beautiful. Okay, after we've done that, now we can get on with the side. So firstly, we need to place a block here, and then one up. Dust on this block, and a torch here. Then on this block, uh, sorry, on this torch, we need another block, and another torch, and another block. But then dust here, here, and a slab with dust on it. A block here with dust on it. Then on just on this side, we need to place another block like this. Whoops, like that, with dust on it, okay? After we've done that, let's place a block out like this, and one here, and have a resto repeater facing toward this way on one tick delay and dust here. Then from this block here, we need to place a repeater going toward the back. So block here and one out, and have a repeater on four tick delay. So we need to place it down and press it three times. Once, twice, thrice. <laughs> then a block here, one to the right, one up here, and a repeater going toward this obsidian on three ticks. No, sorry, on two ticks. Two ticks. <laughs> then an observer like this, and a powered rail, and another observer, and a block, and dust like this. Then we need a block down here with dust on it, which should connect to this one, an observer here, and a block, but no dust on this block. Then we need to place a block here with dust on it, and we need a sticky piston on the side of that dust. Like that, facing downward. And a block of redstone here. And off the side of that block of redstone, we need another sticky piston, like this, we should extend. And an observer here. Brilliant. Now we need to copy that on the other side. So we need to place firstly a block here and one up. Dust, torch, block like that and torch and block dust on both of these and a slab and a block dust and dust we don't need a block here on this side then we need to come down here and place a block here and one out dust next to that torch and a repeater one tick facing toward the front then we need a resto repeater on four ticks coming away from this block just as like we did it before it's like this repeater on four ticks Blocks like this, one up, and a repeater on two ticks. Then an observer on top of that repeater. Powered rail, observer, block, and dust. Block here and dust, which should connect to these two. Observer here, and block, but without any dust. Then a block here, dust, sticky piston facing downward on the side of that dust. Like that. Block of redstone. Sticky piston which should extend, have an observer facing this way. Okay, so at the moment if you flick the lever this wouldn't quite work because we haven't placed in our blocks. So we need to grab them from here. Okay. And literally just place them up like this. And on. Whoops. <laughs> and like this. And up like this. All the way up to there. 
and on the same on this side, so line of blocks. Another line of blocks, and then one more. And now we can give it a quick test. So if we flick the lever, we should have a full extension as we do. So you can see these have the double piston extenders and the single piston extenders at the front. And then when we flick the lever off, we should have our full retraction. Brilliant. Okay, just to finish off this build, what we need to do now is just to wire up our top pistons. But thankfully, this is the easiest part. Now, before we do any of the redstone up here, we just want to actually place the blocks all round, okay? So just place blocks like this in front of these pistons, like this, all along. And carry this forward like this. And then lastly, the white. Okay, like that. Now, from this block we placed earlier, we need to place dust all along these front pistons here. Not these back ones, just the front. Okay. Then, on top of this block, uh, this piston here and this dust, we need an observer and a block. Then a block here, 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 and here. And dust on all four of these blocks. One, two, three, and four. Now you can see here, the rest of the dust is connecting. Now we don't want that, so we just need to place two more blocks like this. Okay. Then, from either one of these two pistons, we need an observer coming down like this. Now on this observer, we need a repeater going toward the back on two tick delay. Then we need a line of dust like this, all along. Okay, now from either this piston or this piston, it doesn't matter, we need to place a block like this, then another repeater on two tick delay, a block here, one up, we remove this block, and then finally, dust here, and we're completely done. <laughs> that is everything completely finished. So when I flick the lever here, you can see we have our full extension. I then flick the lever off and have our full retraction. Okay, just before you finish, I just want to show you how you can wire up two buttons or two levers to this build. So firstly, we need to remove this lever, place a block here and one to the left and remove this block. Then we want to grab a dropper and place it upward on the side of that block. Then we need to crouch and place a dropper like this. If you don't crouch, all you're going to do is open up the UI. So crouch and place the dropper. Remove this block and then crouch again and have a hopper going toward this bottom dropper. You can see it's angled toward this one. Then crouch again and place a comparator here. Then in this bottom dropper, we place a non-stackable item such as a sword. Now, if we were to place a regular block, for example, wool or something like that, or what stacks to 64, all will happen is this rest and dust will activate, this block will, but none of this side will. Okay, and we don't want that. So we want something which can activate both this rest and dust, such as a non-stackable item. Of course, you can move this back one and have a repeater, but nah, just do this. <laughs> then, crouch and place a block here, with a repeater going toward that dropper. Then a block, and a button, and dust. And then the same on this side. So block, block, repeater, button, and dust. So when I press this button, it opens that door. When I press this button, closes this door, opens this button, closes with this button. Beautiful. Now, if you want to add two levers, all you have to do is remove this dust here, and obviously these two buttons, and have two observers facing towards the repeaters. Okay. And then have dust behind them. And then have the two levers. So when I flick the lever on, you can see it opens. Flick this lever on, and it closes. That opens. That closes. Brilliant. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later.